Greetings comrades and welcome to the new video. Today we will prepare one of my favorite things uh, which I used to eat as a kid. This is called gevrek or how it is more popular, simit. This is the Turkish version. Gevrek, gevrek, vike hadecata, bez da osazna če hlava je smrtno ranen. Uh, it's basically round bread with a huge hole in the middle and typically it is covered with sesame seeds it can be other type of seeds it can be plain uh, some versions here have it like um, sprinkled with sugar and baked but the most traditional one i would say is with sesame seeds and there are multiple ways you can prepare this typically the ones i'm used to eat like a street food here they are boiled in water with some baking soda and some honey. I know the Turkish are doing it with molasses. Molasses. Mm, I'm not sure how it is pronounced, but the molasses gives some very nice color and crunch to the to the bread and also the sesame sticks better. But today I'll show you our version. I typically don't prepare this at home very often, but it's a very nice street food and it resembles bagels a little bit, but, but not exactly. Uh, with that said, let's see how they are prepared. And I warn you, the process is quite time consuming. Now, let's see how you can make a givrek at home. Let's see how this round bread with a hole is prepared. As you know, it's called simit or how we call it givrek. I will just put some flour into a bowl. It's around 500 grams of flour and I want to sift it just to add some additional air and to remove some garbage in it. It really has garbage in it, but sometimes it may have. I put 7 grams of yeast, uh, around 20 grams of sugar and around 7 to 8 grams of salt. If you want it saltier, you can add more salt. And basically these are all the dry ingredients which I mix. On top of them I add 300 milliliters of water and I start to form a dough. Uh, in the beginning it may look a little bit dry, but continue mixing. Trust me, it will start to uh, become like a dough. You, you should use your hand. It, it would be easier to mix with your hand because may, you may break your spatula, which is never a good thing. Just mix it with your hand and a bowl of dough forms. We should transfer it to an oiled container. I oil it with some olive oil in that case, but you can use some other oil and just throw the bowl of dough into the container where it will stay for the next one to two days to ferment. Uh, to do that I just leave it in the fridge and it, it will rise as you see it won't escape. Uh, I'm so ugly that even the dough wants to escape from me. I figured out that the container is small and transferred it to another one and the second day I just knead it a little bit with my hands to form a bowl of dough and leave it again in the container and into the fridge where it will stay for one more day. And you see, this is the same dough, by the way, it doubled its size. I will flour uh, my surface a little bit so the dough won't stick to it. And I will transfer the dough on top of the surface where I will add additional flour and flour my rolling pin and I will start rolling the dough. It should be around half a centimeter thick for this and I will start cutting my uh, bread pieces. I will use uh, a bowl and a small cup to form something like this with a hole in the middle. I will form four of these out of this dough because this is how much I could form with this cup and this bowl. And the other dough you can do it again, the same procedure, but I will just uh, spare it. I will add it on, into the container for another day and on the next day I will prepare something else like pizza. And now it's time to boil our uh, simit or gevrek or whatever you want to call it. Uh, typically not every time uh, it should be boiled, but here in Bulgaria I know we boil them and the street food we eat which represents this gevrek are boiled, so we should boil it. We boil it in some honey water and we will put some baking soda in. From what I know from the honey and from the baking soda uh, some very nice crust should form which I couldn't achieve very well but there was some crust on top to be honest especially when they were fresh. 
Uh, once the honey water with the baking soda starts to boil, uh, we just put our pieces of bread in and start to boil them. They should rise a little bit, but don't boil them a lot of time. They need like two to three minutes. Uh, basically when you see them doubling their size, and to float on top they are ready to remove from the honey water uh, something like they should look something like that and should be very chewy and elastic i just transfer them to a cooling rack so the excess uh, liquid can be removed and i'll put my other two pieces for some time meanwhile i will put some sesame seeds on top maybe it's a good idea to oil them on top and to put the sesame seeds after that because mine couldn't stick very well but yeah uh, we learn from our mistakes in the end I put the other two pieces and I again put a generous amount of sesame seeds on, on top of them. And now it's time to bake them. I bake them on 200 degrees Celsius with the fan on and after around 15 minutes we are rewarded with decent, very nice looking bread with a hole in the middle. As I said, uh, people use the hole to put uh, all like a ton of these on a stick and go around and sell them. In the slab difficulty level I would say is 4 out of 5 here because we have a dough to prepare, it should ferment for some time, after that we need to roll it, to cut some very fancy shapes, to boil the dough and after that to bake it which is quite a lot of work. So 4 out of 5 is my code there. And with that said, let's now see and taste our uh, bread. Okay comrades, our gevrek or simit or whatever its name should be, ours is gevrek as you already know, is ready. Typically this is strictly a street food here, very rarely someone will prepare them at home. But uh, from time to time I like to prepare them because they're something special consider them like a treat as you see they are quite different than bagels bagels are like sorry comrades i needed to go inside because uh, on the balcony is very very noisy there's some passing cars and stuff as you see these are not like bagels bagels are thicker they have a small hole and they're basically something like bread and these are quite different these are typically sold on the beaches if you come to bulgarian beaches uh, a guy with a stick would come there would be a lot of gevrex on the stick and he'll basically try to sell them to you for, for a lot of money on the beach <laughs> We also have them as a street food uh, in, a, in small shacks around the city. Едно време точно срещу вкъщи имаше гевреци, всяка сутрин за закуска 3-4 геврека идеално бяха. I prepare them very rarely. This is actually the second time I prepare this, but they turn out very good. And now uh, it's quite a mess to eat them because of the sesame, the sesame would fall off. But now let's, let's see how they look on the inside basically bread with some sesame seeds. I would say that the taste is quite similar to the street version. Now the street version is a little bit saltier and a little bit more caramelized but for home version this is perfect so go and try to prepare them. This was all for me for today comrade and love you next time. Now I will enjoy my gevreci. Имаме една братовчетка в София. Там ги продават в едни чували гевреците. Обикалят сутрин с един чувал гевреци, по улицата спират и те питат дали искаш да си купиш геврек. Тя е малко по-възрастна от мен на към 95-те.